Next up, Fred. Hey, who are you? What do you do? I am Frederick Ham, a member of the GIS unit. Uh, GIS? What's GIS? GIS, Geographic Information System. Geographic Information Systems, yeah. okay. So, uh, the, and the GIS unit uh, is based in Geneva, uh, supporting all MSF operations. Okay, okay that's clear. Mapping and GIS. Okay, so, and why are you here today? What are you showing us today? Uh, today, I, I'm uh, presenting an, a geographic uh, application, uh, innovative one, supporting MSF operations as a pilot in DRC. Okay, what's new about it? Why is it different? Um, the, the, the new thing is that um, yeah, it's a dynamic map uh, uh, allowing um, the access to uh, different kind of information uh, and um, a link to different databases like uh, reports of given activity uh, in the underground. Uh, it is uh, split between different type of uh, activities by cause of the intervention. So cholera outbreak, uh, um, displaced people, um, or other type of uh, cause of the intervention. It is split between explorations, uh, which is the first needs assessment uh, done before a project is actually launched project or emergency intervention and you can pin on, on a given uh, you can uh, click on a given pin and having information on the the intervention okay so and to be clear just to, just to stop this, so to be clear what happens now is that lots of different msf staff they uh, collect all kinds of different data and they come back to the head office and they give paperwork to some guy uh, and then they put everything on a static map which is stuck on the wall and this is dynamic and so now uh, uh, the staff will collect information electronically, uh, email it into some clever system which produces this marvellous dashboard. Is that what happens? Yeah, actually we, we've been developing uh, this, this application which is fed by uh, data collected uh, using mobile devices on the, on the ground by a, a team of, uh, led by a GIS specialist and uh, a number of people collecting data with, uh, with those devices. Okay, so, so you get uh, uh, some lay workers guys that you can hire locally, uh, ladies you can hire locally, with their smartphones, uh, and then they upload stuff and it all goes into this clever tool, and then the field coordinator, medical coordinator, they can make more informed, quicker decisions. Is that the idea? Exactly, exactly. You're right. So we have different type of information displayed, activities. Can you make it do some cool stuff? I'll let you click. Uh, you're right. Actually, here you have activities uh, for uh, last year, 2016, but if you want, you can display all years from 2013 three to now. So you can see in this area uh, where, where the, the intervention. Uh, in blue, in clear blue, you have the exploration. In, a, in a dark blue, you have the actual regular projects or long-term projects. And in yellow, you have the emergencies intervention. If you want only displaying uh, the emergencies, you click on it and you have actually all emergencies by cause. So you have cholera, uh, internal displacement and hemorrhagical fever. Okay, that's uh, clear. Dr. Yeah. Bargavi, is this going to make a difference to your life as a field coordinator? This would be exactly my question, perhaps not as a field coordinator, but as a medic. What would this offer me? What, what does this offer the doctors of MSF? Well, this part is about activities, but uh, I haven't shown you the health part. So you, you have also access to information about health facilities. Uh, and you can filter again the health facilities by, for instance, status of the health facility. And you zoom in and click on a given health facility. You can have access to some information about this health facility. General information, like a statement of the building, uh, like uh, uh, medical information about the number of beds, number of uh, doctors. Number so of if numbers. I was planning, say, for instance, a measles campaign, I would know certain sites that I could use, where, pay, where sites were capable of you doing vaccination and things like that. Exactly. Brilliant. So we have up-to-date information about what's the local capacity, what are the constraints you might face, because if you click on a dangerous health facility, you might uh, think that this uh, might infer some more <laughs> constraint that uh, support for you. Could I also be able to check where outbreaks had happened before? Um, if I was looking for hot spots or anything like that for certain diseases? Um, uh, I would say indirectly uh, through the intervention we had. Nice. So, for instance, uh, a given intervention uh, addressing cholera outbreak would be displayed. But we don't display on this application the actual outbreaks. Nice. But it could be 
it could be done uh, in another application, for instance. Uh, where are you with this? Have, have this tested in the field already? What, what stage of the process of this project are you? Uh, now it's uh, functional, uh, it, it's uh, working, uh, fed by the, the information collected by uh, the team. It's being used in the field today? Yeah, in, and here you have information collected in August last, uh, last year, but you have some information more up to date for the, some other facilities. And that's a pilot project? It's so. a pilot, indeed. Yeah. And, um, it has, is inspired other, other um, uh, intervention, other applications. So now we are developing one for Middle East, one for Chad, which different attributes, different information displayed, uh, depending on the request of the of um, the team. Fantastic! Great. Thanks very much. Good luck with it all. Thank you.